Hello everyone, I am uh, Dr. Swapnil, consultant neurosurgeon and spine surgeon practicing in Hyderabad. So today we will be discussing about the one of the most common problems that people face related to spine that is lumbar canal stenosis. Just before understanding the lumbar canal stenosis, we need to understand the normal spine anatomy. So what happens is when you look after the normal spine, this is the spinal cord and this is the bones which are surrounding the spinal cord. Generally the tunnel, this passes through a normal tunnel. But what happens is as the age progresses, the ligaments that are surrounding the spinal canal that gets hardened, they get thickened. Also what happens is the disc starts getting ruptured or the bulging disc happens. Because of this what happens is the tunnel through which the spinal cord is passing that becomes narrow. So generally what are the causes those are related with lumbar canal stenosis. First and the most important cause that is there is the age related degeneration. Secondly, because of the disc, bulging disc also things can happen. Sometimes what happens is you have a congenital stenosis. The tunnel is already narrow since birth which can be seen in less patients. Most of the time the common cause is age. Now what are the symptoms related to if you have a lumbar canal stenosis, what are the symptoms you will be expecting? Most of the time it is the backache which will be the presenting symptoms. Patients will be complaining of the leg pain. Patients will be complaining of the tingling sensations. You can suspect a lumbar canal stenosis when the patient is telling like I cannot walk without pain after walking to a limited distance the patient starts feeling back pain. So how do you diagnose this? Generally we definitely require an MRI scanning to know what is the level of stenosis, how much is the stenosis whether that is a mild stenosis or moderate stenosis and uh, after the MRI we clearly come to know what is the problem in your spine. So how do you treat this? So for treatment generally first what we will be using is conservative line of treatment in which the patient will be advised a rest. Definitely bed rest is not required but the patient has to take rest and make a minimal movements. Second you can go for the physiotherapy. If you visit your doctor the doctor will be prescribing you some of the medications which will be helpful for reducing the inflammation and for which will be helping you for treating your back pain. But in cases where like the back pain is so severe, you are not able to walk, your quality of life is getting affected, day by day your walking is getting affected or in some patients what happens is the bladder and bowel gets affected. In such cases, definitely we have to go for a surgery and that will be helpful for the patient and that gives immediate relief. So best thing about lumbar canal stenosis is like it is very easy to diagnose and it is quite manageable also. This is what was our talk regarding the lumbar canal stenosis. If any questions are there, you can drop your message in the comment box.